Rohina Malik is no stranger to the College of DuPage. Earlier this year, in March, she presented her one-woman play, Unveiled, as a free event in the student lounge at the Campus Central. The performance was such a huge hit with the faculty and staff that I felt compelled to ask her if she would please consider coming back to share her story again with the rest of our community. I am thrilled to say that she agreed and just as excited to welcome her to the show. So welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, so much is happening with you right now. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. Since we made our deal, we made our deal and then I think I read in the newspaper the next day, you got a call from who? The Goodman Theater. <laughs> the Goodman Theater wants to present your work. Yes, my play Yasmina's Necklace, uh -huh. which is a story about an Iraqi refugee in Chicago. And this play is moving to the Goodman. It started off at the 16th Street Theater in Berwyn and had a production there a year ago. And um, it got a Jeff nomination for Best New Play. And then the Goodman came to see it. And then I get this email saying we want to we want to produce it, and it was such a dream come true. I am. I mean, that's huge. You're in the big time now. <laughs> like, you're in the stage with Tracy Lutz and all those other... I mean, that's where you're at now. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, you know, a lot of people say overnight success. How long have you you've been writing? 20 years. So there's no such thing there's as There's no such thing as overnight no. success. It's years of hard work. There was a time where I was flying to New York and... Uh, renting space and putting up readings and paying actors and inviting industry to come and see my work. Nobody would come. I'd go back and do it again. Nobody would come. And it felt like nobody... Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> nobody's paying attention. But I kept focusing on my craft. I kept focusing on the writing. And you believed in yourself. I believed in myself and I focused on the writing. And I knew if I focus on the writing, one day they will show up. And when they do, it, it's going to be strong. Now tell me, what do you think has changed to make people want to hear this message now? I think that there is a real interest in diversity. There's mm -hmm. an interest in hearing from voices that we don't often hear from on the American stage. And understanding. And understanding. If you look at the current climate with everything that's going on in the Middle East, there's a lot of stereotyping right. with when it comes to Muslims and um, Arabs. So I think what my work does is present the vast majority of Muslims who are just normal people. And that's something we don't see often on the media. Right. We don't see Muslims as normal people. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that my work helps smash stereotypes. Right. And that's really important right now. Tell us about the play that people are gonna come see at the Mac. You it's, play five different characters. It's called Unveiled. Mm -hmm. and. Each of the five women tell a story of how their lives changed or were impacted after 9-11. So it deals with anti-Muslim bias, it deals with racism, it deals with bigotry. It's also a very funny play. Okay. Um, but the, the thing about the play is it gives voice to different Muslim women and it shows people that you can't put Muslims in one box. There's Just so, like you can't put anybody can't in put one, any, any group exactly, in one box. Exactly, you can't. Right. There's so many different ways of doing things like when it comes to covering the hair. Uh -huh. One character, she's a young hip hop artist. She has a very feminist sort of spin on why she covers her hair. Another character in the play refers to the hijab, the, the scarf, as something with modesty and her faith in God. And so even something as the veil has different interpretations, different reasons why Muslim wear, women wear it. And I wanted to show that diversity that a lot of people are very curious about, mm -hmm. you know, the way Muslim women dress. I wanted to address that and get past it because sometimes I really feel like there's too much obsession about what women are wearing or not wearing. And I find that really disturbing and offensive. So the way I handle it in my play is that I don't completely ignore that aspect. I deal with it and then I move on to, okay. to more important issues such as discrimination, such as hate crime, such as things that are happening right now, rhetoric that's really ugly. Mm -hmm. And my play addresses all of those things, um, which I think is really important. It is an important time, and, and I think there's a, it's an important time 
for for just simply understanding yeah. it's one one thing yeah. right it's just a piece of clothing yes move on move on and what people don't realize often about negative stereotypes is where they can lead when i was writing unveiled i did a lot of research on hate crime and what i found was that Hate crime never begins with the weapon. It never begins with a gun or a bat or a knife. It begins with an atmosphere of two things, negative stereotypes and degrading language. And when those two things are left unchallenged, the result can be a murder. So it's very serious. And that's why I felt as a writer, I can take those negative stereotypes and I can address them and I can challenge them through art, through playwriting through performance and it's been amazing seeing the response from audiences well maybe if you ask me everything is for a reason and i think this was your time maybe the, you i mean there there isn't been a more um poignant time i think in our history about all of this it's constantly in the news it's constantly being talked about and i think people there's there's a group of people who have their arms open to embrace and understand and learn and connect and you know put down the stereotypes and all of that and i think that once you connect and you understand and you talk we realize we're way more similar than different you we know are. we are yeah. all way more similar than different oh my you know goodness. and and, yes. and and it's i always um, when i travel and you're sitting there having an ice cream somewhere i'm like none of us can communicate none of us know <laughs> but we're all having the best time looking at that sunset eating our ice cream we're all pretty basic you know we have, we want the basic human things you know that bring us and draw us together and i think once we can when start to communicate yes and that's a big reason i wanted to bring you back and to have your message and your story told and shared because i think we have to just start talking we do and understanding and a lot of people don't realize how similar we all are yeah. how we all have the same worries the same fears sure. when i turn on the news and i see extremists i'm just as concerned as anybody else yeah, absolutely. maybe more so because i know my community is going to be blamed for the actions of crazy people right and right. we're going to pay that price so a lot of people don't realize that, and I think that the play opened people's eyes in that way because it deals with that. It deals with backlash. It deals with discrimination. And it's been really powerful because it's theater. And the beautiful thing about theater is it brings people together. It does. It creates a safe space where you can have dialogue. And mm -hmm. that's why after both performances at the MAC, I'm gonna do a short post-show discussion where the audience can ask me questions and we can have awesome. a dialogue. Awesome. That's lovely. I am so happy for you. I'm so I really excited. Am. And I, w I can't wait to go see your show at the Goodman. Oh, thank you. And I you. wish you the best because as a female playwright, that's a big deal. That's a big deal on top of a female, you know, talking about religion and rights. That's a big bag to carry. Yeah. You have a big responsibility that you put on, really, if you think about that. Yeah, and I just feel like perseverance is something that I teach my children mm -hmm. and um, I just keep going. You know, every day you just have to focus on the positive. That's right. Because life is so beautiful. Yes, there is, there's ugliness out there. There's hate, there's violence. But I always say to my children, what can you do to make it better? And that's what we have to focus on. Focus on the positive. Focus on what we can do to make the world a better place. And for me, in high school, I discovered that it was theater. Rohina, thank you so much. And you do have something actually opening in, in New York, don't you? Yes, my play The Mechatels will have its New York premiere with Voyage Theatre Company this October. So New York, look out, here oh I come. Oh my gosh, there you go. <laughs> well, then it's already happening. Thank you so much. Thank you. Rohina Malik will star in Unveiled, a one-woman play, and it will be at the MAC in the Playhouse Theater on October 15th for two performances at 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tickets can be purchased at the MAC and the Chart Center box office or online at themac.org or by calling 630-942-4000. Don't miss our season kickoff party on September 30th. Join us before Tuesdays with Maury, starring Jamie Farr, to help celebrate the start of another great season here at your home for entertainment. Support the Mac while sampling tasty appetizers from our great dining partners such as Parker's Restaurant and Bar, Carlucci's Italian Restaurant, Glen Ellen's Reserve 22, and Houlihan's. 
There will also be beer tastings from Two Brothers Brewery and a fabulous silent auction item with tickets from all over Chicago and plays like Broadway in Chicago, dinner certificates from Let Us Entertain You, and much more. After the show, there'll be coffee and desserts provided by Nothing But Cakes and a meet and greet appearance with a cast of Tuesdays with Maury and the star of the show himself will be there, Jamie Farr. You might remember Jamie Farr as the funny and outrageous clinger in the Emmy award-winning TV show, MASH. Tuesdays with Maury opened in Toronto to rave reviews and we are thrilled to bring the show to the Mac. For tickets, please visit the box office or you can purchase tickets online at atthemac.org or over the phone by calling 630-942-4000.